Hello and welcome to Math with Miss B. We're still looking at statistics, and but we're going to begin looking at populations and samples. So in this video, we will learn how to determine the population in the sample of a surveyed group. We are looking at standard 7 MA E32. Understand that statistics can be used to gain information about a population by examining the sample of the population. Vocabulary. Okay, so your population is the whole group being studied. Your sample is the smaller group that is representative of the population. This is the group surveyed. So for example, if I wanted information on all adults in Canada, that would be my population, all adults in Canada. However, it would be very hard to survey everyone over the age of 18 in Canada. So I might just survey 1,000 adults in Canada. So this is my sample, the 1,000, and whatever data I'm collecting on, like what's your favorite song, what do you think of the government? Um, how many times do you drink a week? Whatever information I wanna collect on from these 1000 people, I will assume it is representative of all the adults in Canada. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So in the first box, we're gonna list our population. And in the second box, we're gonna list our sample. Okay. As of April, 2020, Microsoft had 90 million active monthly users. They surveyed, they surveyed 200, 2,500 to find out which game they played most often. So what's our population? and what is the sample we're actually surveying to represent them. So I like to start with my sample because it's generally around the word survey. Who did we survey? 2,500 month members that are monthly users. Who do they represent? The 90 million users Microsoft says they have online every month. Okay, let's look at another example. 36,000 people attended the a Milwaukee Brewers baseball game. A member of the marketing team asked 200 people what type of souvenirs they would like to buy. Okay, so let's think about our population and our sample. Okay, so I see a member of the marketing team asks 200 people. That's a good keyword to show me that the 200 people are my sample. And who are they representing? All 36,000 people at the game. So whatever data, so let's say people um, say they're most likely to prefer a t-shirt, that marketing team member is going to assume or predict that of the 36,000 people, most of them will also prefer a t-shirt. And our last example, a company surveyed 500 kids from age 10 to 14 who live in Nevada to ask what board games they play. Okay, again, we see the word survey followed by a number. So our sample is the 500 kids surveyed age 10 to 14. Who is our population? Who are they representing? Now it's not expressed 
but we can assume that we want to know kids age 10 to 14 and who live in Nevada. Those are very specific additional information. So the population, I would say, are kids or teens age 10 to 14 who live in Nevada. Now we could say all kids in the US, all kids in the world, but in the next video that looks at biased and unbiased, you can see why this would not be a good sample population, just kids in Nevada to represent just the US or the whole world. So our best answer are kids 10 to 14 who live in Nevada. Thanks for coming by this Math with Miss V. I look forward to seeing you in the future.